internet this is ben with another mysterious space update um obviously something a little different right i haven't uh usually i'm playing the game uh so i wanted to i don't know i wanted to talk to you with my face uh to, to really i don't know because this is important to me and, and it's this is like an announcement you know um so i have mentioned that i want to donate the profits uh from mysterious space to various organizations um i i have a full-time job uh you know as, as a software developer mysterious space for me is a hobby um i know that for some people you know when, when you pay money and you get a thing people are going to look at me like i'm a business and they're going to expect me to behave like a business in some ways um and i don't know i've, I've experienced this before I, i've run a web game before and people get a very different attitude when they feel like they're dealing with a business who's supposed to serve them uh and you know and stuff like that um and that's uh, frankly that's just never how i'm going to to treat this um i'm, I'm definitely interested in making sure people are happy and, and having fun playing my game uh and fun is the emphasis uh and, and this is a hobby uh and again i i want to the money is is not the issue i don't i don't i never want money to be the issue with mysterious space uh and and so as part of that you know, I'm, I'm going to be making money selling the game clearly, and I wouldn't, and I don't have to sell it, right? Uh, so you might ask, why even bother? Why not just give it out for free? Uh, and the the main reason there is that I do not have the skills on my own to make this game. Uh, I've been paying DDR Kirby ISQ to make a bunch of music for me, and that, that has been fantastic. I would love to get a pixel artist. So there, there are just some, and, and oh, with a translator, uh, I'm gonna post a thing on Craigslist. Uh, there's a college around here, and I'm sure I can find some. German and or French uh, grad student to, to you know do translations for me and I would I would love to pay them for the work because they deserve it right they deserve it for the effort so 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 that is why I've I've been asking for any amount of money um, and then the other thing is once I started thinking about what you know what am I going to do with with excess like if, if hundreds or thousands of people you know start to want to play uh, that's more money than I'll know what to do with um, so I'm very happy to use that to to donate to things that that deserve the money and and again so this is kind of like i don't want money so let's give it away um but why ask for it well so that i can give it away so that i can give it to people who need it um you know employing college students is awesome i know as a college student i didn't have as much money as i needed um ddr kirby isq i, I mean he's got a full-time job as well uh also as a software developer as i understand it um doing mobile games and things um, but you know he's happy to 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 do this and and actually get something for the music, which is what he loves to do. Um, so again, like for me to support that, I, that, that makes me happy. So so anyway, so let's talk about what the reason why I wanted to do this um, was to talk about the donations. Uh, because I looked at the sales number, I finally logged into Steam, which who's to be up behind me now? There's an article on solar sales. Can you see that 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 picture there? Oh, it's hard to aim my finger on the camera. That's a, that's a solar sale. Uh, anyway, solar sails, yeah, that's related. So I thought since Mysterious Space is a game uh, about space, and because I love astronomy, which is why Mysterious Space is about space, I'm sure in part, uh, I thought that the first thing I would donate to uh, would be a space agency. Uh, but let me, I, I might be getting a little ahead of myself. So the process I'm going to go here for the, the system is that I will donate money in $500 increments uh, cycling through organizations or agencies or whatever um, in in different categories. So, for example, first category space exploration. Um, second category, I think the the next thing I would donate to would be some sort of education uh, organization, and then third would be something related to health. And I've been talking to friends and uh, like getting basic infrastructure in other countries is 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 a big is a big deal and, and when i started talking about that with a friend i remembered all the things i've learned about that and the difficulties that some countries have just like getting roads which I, we right you like you take it for granted that when it rains you can still get around but that is not true in in some places of the world so anyway space exploration first because it's mysterious space and then i'll, I'll work down the line and, and then when i get through all you know all four of those categories go back to the top and do a different space agency um so i i looked around online to research which space agency i i should donate to um you know as someone who lives in the united states and and having heard about nasa nasa might be an obvious pick but the united states is not as interested i guess in space exploration as i as i kind of wish the united states was um 
I don't know, I guess it's probably the culture here. People don't like to pay for, I mean, it's kind of true everywhere, right? I mean, you say, hey, we want a bunch of money to build a telescope. And people are like, why is that good? And then the answer is that you discover that the universe is expanding and there's dark energy and there's black holes. And then you're really glad that you did that. Right, but it's hard to tell in advance. Um, but when, when I hear about, I, I listen to a few uh, actually, uh, now just one um, podcast about about astronomy. Whenever they're talking about space agencies, it's always the European Space Agency that's doing really cool stuff, um, and, and not NASA. NASA doesn't get enough money. It's always a problem uh, because, again, the United States just isn't interested in, in space exploration. It, again, as much as other countries uh, seem to be. Uh, but I didn't necessarily want to just. I was like, okay, these are the two I know of, right? I hear about the European Space Agency. I hear about NASA. Who else is out there? Who else is doing cool space stuff? And so I looked at the other countries, uh, and I, I'm surprised at some of the countries that are doing things, and then some that aren't that I think would. Like, I don't know, like Canada. They have a space agency, but they've never launched anything to space, I think is what it was. But, but they have, they, they, there's like the first Canadian astronaut. That's been a big deal. So, I mean, they're doing things, um, just in varying degrees. And, you know, I never thought about the different degrees. Like, to me, space expo exploration means you put telescopes and, and stuff, and you put them in space, right? But there's there's... Uh, there's tons of, of, of stuff that, you know, that goes into just getting to that point, you know, research and all these other things um, and different focus. I mean, some of the focus of space is about then taking pictures of the Earth to learn about weather and, and other things going on. Anyway, uh, China and Japan, two big countries, obviously. China, ah, huge. Um, and Russia. Russia is doing a lot of cool stuff, too. And, and of course, you think of Russia because of the Cold War, at least, again, having grown up in the United States. Uh, but I never really thought about China or, or Japan. And in researching them, uh, Japan, so they they have launched the first solar sail, which is coming back around as to why I've got a solar sail back on my, which I realize just looks like a funny black square to you guys. It's a solar sail, I promise. Um, so here's what solar cells are in case, in case you don't know, because as I started talking about them earlier, I realized, do people even know what a solar sail is? Uh, it's what it sounds like. It is a sail that runs on the sun. And it's literally photons, right, which are massless, hitting this sa the sail, and and the pressure from light <laughs> propels this this thing forward. And so it has to be an enormous sail in order to catch any you know, to, to get any sort of push. Um, related things that I don't think anyone has done. Now I want to Google that. Um, you can make a solar sail better by shining a powerful laser at it, and then you shoot it with you know a directed beam of light. And that will propel it much better. Not not by an explosion. That's another way you could propel things with lasers to is to use a laser to ignite something that so that you basically have an ex which is all a rocket is right is an explosion to pr to propel something might be a good way to deflect asteroids. Uh, but you could do it non-explosively, just sheer light pressure, in order to push these solar sails. And so you can either do it with the laser. I'm not sure that anyone has done that. That's what I was thinking. I should Google. Uh, or you can just get all the light being given off by the sun for free, right? So that is what a solar sail is. Uh, JAXA, which is the acronym for the Japanese Space uh, Agency, I do not remember what it all stands for. The X was exploration, and I'm sure one of those A's is for administration. Um, but they built the first successful uh, solar sail. They, they, they put it into space. It works, it's flying around, and it's still flying around. Uh, and I just never knew this. Um, so it was deployed in 2010. It has been running ever since. Uh, and in recent years, in an on and off sort of fashion, uh, it's not getting enough light to be functional for all of the months of the year. Um, so it goes into hibernation for, for, I think it was seven months, and then is on the rest, or maybe it was the reverse. I'd have to look. But anyway, it's not on all of the year. But when it comes on, then JAXA gets in contact and says, give me all your data, you know, whatever it's been doing. Um, the the probe, to my understanding, there there was not a whole bunch like the Wikipedia article on this probe, which was Icarus, I believe, um, it's a little out of date. Like It's like, oh, and they'll do some things in 2014, uh, talking about it like it's the future. It's like, well, it's 2015 now, right? So so the, the Wikipedia article is a little out of date. Uh, on JAXA's website, they have more up-to-date information. Anyway, but there, there isn't a whole lot. And maybe if I could see the pages in Japanese, if I could read Japanese, I might be able to learn more. Um, but it sounds like the main purpose of this probe is just proof of concept, basically. They, they've made this thing, they're steering it, and they're just trying to figure out how do you steer a solar sail? You know, how do you, how do you move it around? What are the complications you might run into? And all that sort of thing. It's a very theoretical 
just for science, just for how what's a solar sail? How do we make this thing work? Uh, kind of probe. Um, that's my impression. I could be wrong. Um, uh, but but it's still running. Other people have apparently deployed solar sails since then. I don't remember off the top of my head. But that's what a solar sail is, and that's and that's what JAXA is doing among many other things. I'm sure. I mean, I looked at their web page, and you know, they, it's a space agency. They're doing space stuff. So I thought that that would be the first agency that I would donate to. Um, the problem, so it, it has not been done, and the reason it has not been done. And sorry, I'm like tapping my hand on my laptop, which I hope is not picked up by the microphone. Um, I, I got onto the website to, to look at how to donate, uh, and the donation page only seems to exist in Japanese. Uh, the And, you know, they want like a Japanese formatted phone number, and so we won't accept my phone number, and they want Japanese zip codes, which are different, uh, and, and everything else. So, I mean, I, this form is unusable to me. I was using Google Translate to try and, I was like, maybe I can make this form work. Uh, knowing in the back of my head that probably it wasn't gonna gonna work out and it doesn't. So I have emailed JAXA uh, asking them, you know, hey, this is probably weird. I'm a United States citizen, but I would like to donate to JAXA. You know, they probably don't get this sort of thing much, so we'll see what they say. Um, I told them, I tried to be succinct because they don't want to read paragraphs of stuff. I was like, you know, I'm making this game. I want to donate to various cool things. You guys did the first solar sale? That's so cool, I didn't know. You know, can we, can something be made to work? So, we shall see. Uh, there I go again, tapping the, the laptop. Um, yeah, so so that's it. I just wanted to let you guys know uh, what was going on, and I, and I I wanted to talk to you directly again with my face, because um, <laughs> I don't know, it makes it feel more more official or something. You know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and and also to, you know, I had been kind of saying, you know, this is a thing I'd like to do. Um, but I really wanted it to like be formally there stated, you know, this is happening. This is what's going to happen with, with the profits from mysterious space. Um, uh, what was, so what are the sorts of organizations? So space agencies first, JAXA, obviously, maybe next time around the European space agency, I'll probably get to NASA eventually, assuming we go that far. We being you and I, you, you buying mysterious space, um, and then and going through as I described these four different categories. Um, the infrastructure thing I have not looked as much into. I just don't know much about it. Um, so that's why I'm saving it for last, just so I have more time to, to research how that would go. Uh, but second, an educational thing. I think probably I would donate to PBS, uh, the public broadcasting oh my, is it station. Now I'm like, I'm embarrassed that I don't know these things. Like, hey guys, I'm going to give your money to things I don't even know the name of. <laughs> um, but um, they do a lot of I mean, they've been around forever. I remember watching some of their shows when I was a kid, uh, like Ghost Rider. Gosh, um, that was PBS, right? Yeah, yeah, it had to be. Uh, but they do Nova, which you've probably heard of. They do a bunch of a bunch of science shows, which I still watch today. Um, and they also do a bunch of stuff on YouTube. There's the PBS Idea Channel, which I also watch, and, and other things like that. So it all. I looked on their website and they seem to be bundled up with NPR, which I did not realize that, that was a thing. <laughs> Again, my ignorance here. Um, I'm learning. Uh, so I don't know. I don't care about NPR personally. So I'm like, can I just donate to Nova, who, who I know I care about? But whatever. If it comes bundled, it comes bundled. You know, I'll, I'll research that as well as, as the time approaches. Um, after that, for health, I really hesitate to... to I know this is going to become political, and and I and I really don't want it to. But I feel like Planned Parenthood would be a a, a good candidate for a health agency. Uh, the United States, compared to other countries, is very weird about health and and sexuality in general, just compared to other countries. Um, although sometimes some of the stories coming out of the UK just floor me too. I'm like, wait, really? I thought you were part of Europe, but no, they don't want the Euros either, right? So the UK is doing its own funny thing. Um, but man, I just hear about like Norway and, and those other countries, uh, or the Scandinavian countries in particular, just seem like amazing. Like they just they, they have their stuff together, right? Um, the U.S. does not have its stuff together so much in some cases, and I think that Planned Parenthood would it would be a great a great uh, candidate for for donating to. Um, and again, I realize that that's a, a big political thing, and I realize most people are playing in the United States. So so if that alienates like half of the players or something. I'll feel kind of silly, but it's what I, again, it's it's what I want to do. These are, it's an important, I feel like it's an important thing. I, I, I do not like politics, but I like people being healthy. <laughs> so, so, and I love space. So 
Let's start with space because that one's easier. Uh, Japanese Space Agency, go check them out. Um, and I will keep you guys up to date on how that goes, on, on you know what, what they say. It's possible that maybe the Japanese Space Agency guys are going to be like, $500, that's jump change. We don't care. <laughs> I don't know. They probably, they probably won't face it that way. Of course, they, they'd want to be more diplomatic. Um, but uh, we'll see what they say. You know, it's possible that I may have to donate to some, some other organizations, such as the uh, European Space Agency. I also do not know uh, legally... Uh, how the donation stuff will work, and, and that's something I will also need to figure out. So, again, I will keep you guys up to date on how that all goes, um, and when I'm getting close to another 500 clump, increment, block, whatever you want to call it, uh, then I will talk to you about that and, and you know, and, and how that's all going. So I'll keep you guys up to date is what I'm trying to say in, in so many words. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for, for watching as always and, and listening to me ramble and playing Mysterious Space. Uh, it's crazy that things have gotten this far. Um, so I don't know. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, I, I will let you get back to your lives. I, I fear I have rambled for, for long enough, as I often do. Goodbye.